Hey everybody, it is the 18th day of Vlogmas and it's already like afternoon time. It's been a crazy morning already. Um, yeah, just it's a Friday. There's a lot to do for work. I grabbed myself Duncan this morning and had a chai latte because why not? Let me show you my secret knitting on John's hat. I am a little over eight inches, so once I get to 10, I will start decreasing. I love this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it on real quick for you. So, of course he's gonna pull it down real far and then fold it up. But I don't wanna pull it down too far and then it comes off the needles. I think he's gonna love it. I love it. And yeah, I have been working on my blanket. Like I told myself I should do a row every day and I have been. So I think I'm gonna actually pull that out and show you guys um, the blanket in its full glory as it is right now. So yeah, other than that, it was red and white day, candy cane day for Hayes. We took in her Christmas cards early, so they were there and done, because her party's Tuesday, and I still have stuff to wrap for her teachers. So, uh, and possibly get for her teachers. I'm not even sure if I've gotten everything I need. Why does it always have to be so stressful? I feel like I should just get them, like, Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. <laughs> I tried doing that one year. And the lady at Dunkin' Donuts screwed up and gave me 10 $10 gift cards. I told her I wanted four $10 gift cards. And I wasn't even paying attention. I swiped my card and then I had 10 gift cards. <laughs> this is why you pay attention. I was in a rush. Okay, so Miss Mia Wallace is gonna join us for the blanket, right, Mia? How you feeling, baby? Oh, all right. So this is our bed, and excuse like John socks and whatever. There's the tote I keep my blanket in, and yeah. So these are definitely early on yarns that I started knitting with. Um. And I did cast on enough so it will go across the whole width of the bed. If you can kind of see, here's the end of the bed. And I have the blanket laid almost at the top. So I don't have a ton more to go. Now some of these stripes do not go all the way across, which is totally okay. I am magic knotting them, but I have not trimmed them down. I'm too afraid. <laughs> Um, I'm probably going to go back and reinforce them a little more. Yeah, but there's like, this was a baby sweater of Hayes. Um, these were Christmas socks for me. This was yarn in a shawl that I made um, by the Periscoping Sisters. This was sock yarn that I had made from socks for myself. Socks for my mom. So there's tons and tons of memories in this blanket. And I think it's beautiful. I had split some of the colors, like um, this orange was a lot left, and you can see that I used it, it's over here too, a few times in this blanket. So I really love it. I love the quirkiness and all the colors. I am not one that planned this, obviously, because you can see how wide some of the stripes are. This is in my so faded sweater this orange yeah so lots of fun stuff going on um, you can see how wide some of the stripes are I was trying to say that and then I stopped um, because I didn't stop knitting or crocheting with some of them like that blue stripe is pretty large and stands out but it's okay and again some scraps are so tiny they only go halfway across the blanket but 
I just thought I would show you guys. That is where I'm, that's the end I'm working on. So where Mia is, is the beginning. I love seeing people's scrappy blankets. Okay, I need to check John's hat versus the other hats I've made him. There's our Charlie Brown shower curtain. Excuse our mess. Okay, this is the way I keep our knits. Um, like our winter hats and stuff. Um, in one of these shoe organizers. Hazel has all down the bottom two. Mine are the middle two. Those two. And then poor John, he needs, he needs some more. Um, he actually got rid of all his commercial hats. And... This isn't, isn't even his. So I need to grab, these are all the photographer hats. So I need to take them out. He must have one, cause I know he has another brown one. So yeah. Okay. So this one is the first one I think I ever made him. This was dyed with yarn um, from Black Beans that he dyed. It's really actually starting to fade. The color's not actually doing it justice either. Um, this was yarn we got from Marilyn Sheep and Wool from a woman who dyes with natural dyes. John also dyed, excuse me, this yarn with logwood. And so the other one he has is one he dyed with black walnuts. That one's not here. I don't know where that one is. But yeah, so I... I'm getting pretty close to where I feel like I would be decreasing. Sorry, that was a very awkward video. So, he needs some more colors. <laughs> and this has the fake snow from our tree on it. John. You can see this one's like really stretched out a lot. He wears this one a lot. We probably should just put that in the... Give it a good wash and dry. It needs it. And this one was worsted weight, so it's it's a little bit thicker than all the others. So, yeah, there we go. All right, I am definitely on track with his hat size wise. So, what did we what did we get for dinner? Pizza. From where? From Pizza Johns. Pizza Johns. You want to lift it up and show all the people? This side. You were right. Oh boy. That's a good pie. No, it's not a pie. <laughs> you know, that's what they call it some places. They call it pie. They don't call it pizza. You're a mess, girl. Your lunch, you got all over your shirt. The little grease cups. Yum. So, I'm sure Pizza John's had no problems during COVID. Because <laughs> they are very, very popular. They are a single restaurant here that very local to us and that was the crunchy that was crunchy that was the crunchy that was the crunchiest. crunchiest so good
Hi, it is the end of the Vlogmas Day 18. <laughs> Great timing. That is our Zerushi, our hot water machine. <laughs> I'll just talk over it. So, in the last clip, you would have just seen Santa on the fire truck. So, that is one memory I have really well of my gran, and I just actually retold it to Hazel tonight, putting her to bed. Um, my gran's passed away when I was 18, so it's been quite some time, like 2000. And yeah, so my grandparents and us lived like four streets away, and Santa would come by on the fire truck, and he'd always hit their street first. And then Gran would get on the phone and she'd be like, Santa's coming! And then we'd wait outside for Santa to come and wave to Santa. Now back when I was little and I told Hazel this too, he used to throw candy out from the fire truck. And that was always cool. But I guess that's just not really the right thing to do nowadays. I don't know. But yeah. Busted out my pumpkin pie colorway and I only have like 20 more rows before I can start a toe so and then I have to do the other one but this is what I've been knitting on tonight I really got to get a row in that blanket but I'll get there all right I hope everybody had a great day tomorrow's the weekend yay I think we're making cookies on Sunday we're making cookies Sunday John Sunday. That's, that's what I heard. The plan. I think that's the plan. Alright, well, have a good night. See you tomorrow.